With your look around the Air Force, I'm Senior Airman Garrett Hess. Airmen and Guardians now have access to additional help after experiencing sexual harassment. They can file a restricted or unrestricted report with the Sexual Assault Prevention and Response Office, giving access to advocacy services and referrals. It's a change that allows service members to go to one office for support in both harassment and assault cases. An unrestricted sexual harassment report provides victim advocacy services, but also triggers Commander and Equal Opportunity Office notifications so the complaint can be investigated. A restricted report allows members to seek services confidentially. The exception is if there's a clear and present risk to health and safety. Officials say the new procedure doesn't replace the military equal opportunity complaint process. Sexual harassment victims can make an unrestricted report and still file a separate complaint with the Equal Opportunity Office. Family housing tenants in Department of Defense privatized and government-owned housing have a chance to provide feedback through December 1st. The annual tenant satisfaction survey is underway. Tenants should have received an email link for access. An independent third party is conducting the survey. The Air Force says use of a third party allows service members and families to provide open, truthful, and anonymous feedback. One official says survey results directly impact day-to-day -day operations of housing communities, and the data is used to better understand tenant concerns. Combat rescue airmen have a new upgraded helicopter. The HH-60W Jolly Green II just reached initial operational capability earlier this month. That means the Air Force has enough trained airmen and can meet the logistics requirements to support a 30-day deployment for up to four aircraft operating independently. The new helicopter features improved range and survivability, a new fuel system, advanced avionics, and more. Major General David Lyons, Air Combat Command Director of Operations, says the capability of the Jelly Green 2 supports Air Force personnel recovery operations in current and future combat environments. And that's your look around the Air Force.